Hi everyone, it's Bitcoin from the Big Chubowski, back for a season of 5v5. Now, the last season I didn't record my uh, last matches of the last week there, and I actually uh, lost a round. Well, I didn't, uh, I had a head injury, and had to ask someone to do it for me, and uh, they couldn't pull it off, so I had a loss there, which I obviously don't have on a record. And then the third round I nearly lost myself because I had a game crash with Jedi Knight Luke against Darth Revan, but it still counted the battle, so I got both super unlucky and super lucky there. So uh, that's barely saved me because if that would have not registered I would have lost that round. So uh, I'm okay in the meantime now and I'm ready for another season. I've got my Jedi Master Luke now, so double Galactic Legends and I figured uh, yeah, let's make it an interesting one. So, in terms of feats, I'm not going to be doing the R2 thing and the droid thing that will definitely be happening. So, I figured for the first round here, I'm fighting a guy called Righty Fish. He's got uh, about 500k lifetime from the guild Rogue 3, has a Jedi Master Luke and a Ray. And in my bracket, there are two people other than me with double Galactic Legends. The others have one, or, and I believe one guy has none. So uh, this is one of the double guys, and I figured why not start this round by setting both of them on defense. Um, so yeah, Supreme Leader Gylo over here. Uh, set the CLS and a Padme team, which went down no problem. And then over here, Jedi Master Luke with some leftover Jedi essentially. Also got one shot, and then Night Sisters in the bottom. And over here in the back, actually weak teams. Because I thought he was going to set one Galactic Legend on defense, being his... Jedi Master Luke, probably, but uh, he didn't do that, he kept both of them for offense and actually dropped one battle here, as you can see, against Karth. Now my suspicion is that he tried to undersize it to get more banners and failed in doing so. I don't know for sure, I'll see it in the history in a week, but uh, that's what I think might have ended up happening there, or potentially he fell short or just underestimated the team. But uh, that cost him a battle and made him drop 20 banners, so my goal is to try to beat him by over 20 banners, just to see for myself if I would have been able to beat this guy. Uh, as if he didn't drop this one banner, then maybe it could become a banner match and I would have actually lost that. Uh, and then no problems against the fleet, uh, he didn't really set any strong fleets there, even though he always keeps his best fleets for offense. Uh, I didn't think that that's where the match would have been decided. But in hindsight, uh, I even consider going heavier on defense. I thought about setting General Skywalker still, but uh, I figured I'd like to keep some flexibility against whatever uh, wh whatever Galactic Legends he would set on defense. I thought he might set both of them even, and for that I was prepared too. But uh, yeah, he didn't do it. So what he set on defense then is Knight Sisters, a Mon Mothma team, and Geos. So you'll typically start seeing a lot of this Mon Mothma and Geo bearing to uh, try to make force people to make a choice regarding Treya and then send some kind of other counter against uh, the other team. Typically Vader is very attractive for a lot of people, but if you want to pull out the Vader and then uh, uh, essentially deprive them of a potential Ray counter or another Galactic Legend counter, that can be a good way to do it. Just set those two in the front zone here to try to bait people into not using it or using it and then uh, regretting it in the back. But not a lot of people are gonna dare to uh, do that. So over here he's got a highly relic to rage at a training team and then the CLS team as well. So uh, I'll be fighting those. I don't know how much time I'm gonna have today to really sit down and make this recording. So maybe I'll do it in a bunch of ghosts and I guess I'll get started with this uh, CLS team for which I have Grievous. So very fast 3PO. It's like 270 gonna check the Han as well I'm just curious in general how they're modded so Grievous should work here if it doesn't then I immediately shoot myself in the foot and uh, put myself up for a tricky situation I could also just do like General Skywalker or Darth Revan but I uh, don't think that's gonna be a good idea and Grievous would really be the most budgeted kill here uh, of what could possibly happen so let's see Okay, they go for Newt first. That's for me the ideal situation. Because now I get to target lock everyone. And they don't just keep firing away at Magna Guard. Uh, I'm gonna stun Chewie here. Or not. 
Oof. Rough. Uh, B2 is marked here. So an AoE... Hmm. AoE seems like complete suicide before Magna is taunting, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, who doesn't have target lock? CLS doesn't, but it's better if I hit target locked enemies, so let's do that. I'm going to try and get another stun on him. Okay, that's better. Take him out. They really like my Grievous today, it seems. Let's keep healing him, and it should be Chewy down. Uh, now I can move on to the next target. Being 3PO. Uh, I could cleanse the debuffs on Grievous here, but don't really see the point. I'm in a very firm control here. Might be able to 60 banner this one. Depends a bit. Um... This might kill too many characters, but let's see. Okay, we're fairly good. Just gotta see if I can top off Magna here. Uh, well, let's do B2 first. Because Magna might still take a counter hit or something. Uh, don't want to do the extortion here. Let's end it like this on B2. Perfect, so that's a 58. Pretty good. I'll take it. So, Rage at a Training Gun. Ideally, I try to save my Darth Revan and my Vader stuff for the back. Yeah, let's maybe do that. But nah, let's be... Uh, let's be sensible about this one. Just send a Rage at a Training. Uh, R2... I could save C3PO4. Don't really need to save him. Uh, so let's pull him out, put in C3PO. Yep. And take a look at what he has in the back. So control her. Could have also gone for BB-8 there, but doesn't really matter too much. Um, let's see, I'll go for race scavenger first, or maybe Poe. I feel like Poe is a bit more dangerous. Okay, this should be quite easy. Uh, control this guy with an expose. Okay, R2 got a kill there, that's useful. Let's go for her. And this should more or less be it. No turns on their side. Let's see if R2 can get the kill. Uh, no, that's not going to be possible. He can't do the... Ah, oh, this one he gets. Alright, that's a 60. So let's see what he's got. Oof, Ray in the back. Okay, so he soft countered one of the Galactic Legends. And then he's got Grievous still. There I can use my Jedi. So, uh, he did a good job then. He did try... If I would have been him, I would have put Mon Mothma and the Geos in the bottom zone here. Uh, don't know what he was trying to pull out with CLS and Ray, but uh, that's fine. So I'll get back to this when I have some time, probably later today. But uh, should be an interesting match. I guess he soft countered one of my teams, probably Darth Revan on JML. Not too hard, but uh, definitely use this JML on Kylo then is what I'm guessing. So I'll get back to you. All right, finally I have time to wrap up this Grand Arena. We have a territory war going on, so pretty busy day. Uh, against this Ray, what's interesting is that he actually has uh, three characters that can taunt, but don't pre-taunt. So it's quite an interesting combination. I haven't really seen it too much with Holdo, Bo, and uh, Finn there. So since there's no pre-taunt, I figured why not use a counter I haven't used in a very, very long time. Being Darth Revan with Bastilla Fallen, uh, Thrawn, Watt, and Geobrood Alpha. Figured that could be fun. Uh, it's not one I can talk a whole lot during, as it's uh, fairly high-paced, but I guess uh, that's fine. So the main goal, if there's no pre-taunt, is to just put the weapon tech on Darth Revan, and then uh, try to keep the others feared as much as possible, keep them shocked, hit the staggers when needed, don't pull them out of fear when you don't need to, 
and then just uh, kind of burn through it as quickly as possible. So let's uh, do that. Just gonna refear resistance hero fin here. And now the goal is to get Ray into damage immunity as quickly as possible. But should be pretty easy with Darth Revan. Uh, still no reason to AoE really, she's almost there already. And now I can AoE. Because there were a lot of uh, staggers there to be hit. And this should put her in damage immunity any moment now. Uh, might as well just basic. There we go. So for the rest I don't need to hit any of the others. They're still feared. That's perfectly fine. The very high speed Darth Revan that I have is very helpful here. To keep everyone under control. Plus the weapon tech. I think I'm going like twice for uh, most of their characters anyway. Uh, still no need to hit the staggers. And the ultimate's coming in now. Uh, I'll hit them now. So everyone nicely survives. And then now the goal is to try to get back to full protection if I'm able to. So I could see this like this variation being interesting against some people that try to use their Vader and maybe rely on certain turn orders and maybe get stuck on one of the sort of part-time tanks or however you want to call them. But uh, against the Darth Revan counter it's yeah, a bit brutal as there's just nothing to bail uh, Rey out. Uh, just basic. Thrawn is full here though, so I'm gonna take another ultimate, unfortunately. That's fine though, I'm able to sustain the damage, so shouldn't be a problem. Actually, Holdo might heal here, that would be a problem. Yeah, she's gonna... Oh, just a basic, I don't know. don't think anything reduced her... Uh... Terminator, yeah, there we go, another ultimate. That's fine though, I mean, everyone's full protection, they haven't really moved at all. Maybe what is going to go down? That's a risk, I guess, but uh, let's hit this one. Put the protection up. Yeah, probably what will die, but that's okay. Nope, he does just fine. I just have to be mindful of time now and probably just shut up. That's Ray down. Uh, let's see about recovering protection here and just playing through the remainder pretty fast. Try to drop a bunch of them into damage immunity. Uh, almost everyone's full. This ability block him uh, doesn't actually work. Okay, uh, let me see. I think it's just uh, Finn there on the left who's not come into uh, damage immunity yet. So as long as I keep track of that, then I shouldn't be able to time out. Well, I should be able to recover almost everyone other than what. Uh, let's waste this for a moment. Okay, that's GBA full. Uh, yeah, that's just what left. I'm okay with this. Just need to let him take a turn now, so no more debuffs. Swap to what? Pretty close call. So more talking would have made me time out for sure. And there we go. That's a nice 60. And 
then there's Grievous left. Uh, I can use my JKR over there. Shouldn't be an issue. Uh, this is a s slow loading time. And then Mon Mothma here I can solo with General Skywalker. Pretty sure that's going to be the play. Not really any reason to do anything else. I've never done this. Also, I haven't really seen a video of it. I just know that it works. Like 100% of the time. So, uh, let's see it in action. Okay, base nearly gone. I mean, I could total. I could see myself lose this, but... I just don't think they hit enough, yeah. So the initial volley is pretty good, but as soon as base goes down, it's uh, quite brutal. I mean, this could loop as well, but Biggs loses that loop. Yeah, so really you only kind of do one attack. Pretty short fight. Well, interesting to have seen it. Uh, Night Sisters, I can do a bunch of things. I'll go against Grievous next. So pull up my Jedi. Uh, I do have a Relict JKR now, but I still prefer Bastilla. Just because of the extra survivability, it's just a lot nicer. I never really fall short in terms of damage, because Grandmaster Yoda is properly modded, so uh, I'm totally fine with this. Though I do have to be mindful of that B2, because he's Relic 4, I think, but uh, I believe the modding wasn't too good. So not too concerned there. Let's see. Okay. Zero crits, that's fine. Helps also that the Droidica is just gear uh, 12. Uh, let's spread and then kill. There we go. Now I can start hitting B1 and from there on out it should be pretty easy. If I can pick off Droidica at some point that would be great, but not really necessary. Even him going for Julie there just doesn't really do too much. This gives me a lot of opportunities to drop stacks on B1. And I'm just going to go straight for Grievous here. <coughs> No need to delay this any further. Uh, should probably be able to feed Termeter to remove his Termeter before he goes. Because this will fill me up. And it's actually going to kill already, so I'm good. Alright, nice. Uh, let's go for Droidica here. Good one. Uh, I should maybe try to get a turn off with uh, Hermit Yoda still to heal everyone. That would be good. Let's try and stun him so that I can afford to hit him. Yeah, let's do that one instead. As I can gradually take B1 down and I still have all the foresight, so this should be fine. I think almost everyone's full other than JKR. Though I don't actually know if it ever stripped his original uh, protection up from Bastilla. Let's see. 60, okay, nice. Should be good banners this round. So I think the most I dropped so far is two on the CLS team, right? So against Geos, I can use Treya. Let me just quickly check his spy. Could also do EP Vader, I guess. Yeah, let's do that. Let's change it up. Check the speeds first. Nah, it should be fine. And then I still have... Malak, Nest. Still got so much stuff. Clones. Uh, yeah, let's do EP Vader and... Uh, just have to be a bit mindful there. I remember from last time that I lost some banners due to some of those guys countering and me not force crushing the right ones, so maybe... And then add one more character or something. Uh, do Scion. Also to get the speed boost with Vader. That's also why it's important. 
So we start with the Force Crush. Merciless. Kill Spy. To eliminate the threat. And then I should try to do the Force Crush on Sunfak. Wow, that was brutal. Then again, that was a gear 12, so... That uh, explains. So I'm gonna kill the Brute with the other Saber Throw. Because he counters too. And now I need to try to control Sunfak. Well, actually both of these, or he's gonna get his Brute back. So this is probably not gonna work. Let's see though, uh, put this one on... I guess on EP is fine. This should stun, if it doesn't then... yeah, okay. I have to cycle through it again, that's a bit lame, but it's fine. Okay, well this is gonna cost me pretty much everyone's protection banners other than not buy it too because this is gonna be an AoE from the Brute nice that's pretty fun uh, I could have done the force crush first there but I figured this would be fine too so I lost a few banners there but still a 58 And then Night Sisters, I uh, guess I'll go with First Order. My First Order is strong enough, there's no what or anything, but uh, let's have some fun with them. They have plenty of firepower. So I'm not too worried about this one against a bunch of Gear 12s. Maybe I'll eat my words in a second, but I don't think so. <laughs> my god, that was insane. Sith Trooper over here is a bit silly. Uh, let's stun Asajj. For no reason in particular. Basically all I need at this point is to start chaining up kills with Executioner. And everyone should be full protection. I should have probably killed Daka there. That's fine though. Okay, now I did, and the rest should be chopped down. Uh, so I'll have lost the one banner on Kylo Ren Mast, but that's fine. And then expecting his weakest fleet. Yep. So if I can daze the rebels, that's nicer. So let's go with that. Undersize this one with this much? It's probably too much. I mean, I can still lose if I screw up one of these fleet battles and I'm for whatever reason I'm un unable to clear. It's still possible. Uh, so over here, that's Max Biggs. Oof, such a rough opener. Could have done the same with Wedge, but I'd rather do this, get him out. Do the AoE here, and then... Uh... Nah, he's not dead yet. But now they might be. There we go. So I didn't even need the reinforcement, but I figured let's bring it in case I get dodged or something. Could uh, have turned out a bit silly. So then over here... Geo Notions... Uh, separatists. Spy and I think this should be enough. Yeah, let's go with four. Maybe I'm underestimating this one, but I've got a lot of vultures to back me up. So I can immediately stun here because there's a buff. Uh, let's put vultures on this one. And. Hmm. I think I'd rather go for the stun here, to be honest. Let's do that. Because the foresight clearing is pointless if it gets uh, re added instantly anyway. Can this be evaded? No, just not resisted. Okay. It's basic for now. 
That's probably one of the things I remember the worst is can it be resisted or evaded. Uh, I know that usually it's one of the two, just not always sure which of the two. Clone Sergeant, that's uh, interesting. I'm kind of wondering if that's what he intended as well. Okay, wow, 102k from the original Vulture Droid, that's pretty brutal. Okay, let's stun him again. Uh, go for this one. And that should be the end of it. Uh, it's going to be one more reinforcement, I think. Glad I didn't lose my ship there. Uh, let's put this on Spy. Dang. Thought it was going to get me to kill, but it still looks like I'm going to get one ship down here. Uh, should still be good banners, considering only one reinforcement. But not quite a kill, so... This gets dragged out. One more hit. I uh, lost a lot of health and protection banners too, so only 61 in the end. But I one-shot his board, so that's a nice 2130. Uh, and I hit my goal. The goal was to get at least 20 more banners than him. Which uh, I did comfortably. That's 36 here. Uh, almost close to being ahead to two battles. So, uh, yeah, nice start of the season, I think. I really like that he put Ray in the back. Uh, not a lot of people dared to do that. Uh, and he did a great job taking out both of my Galactic Legends. So he definitely had what was needed to do it. But, uh, I mean, strategy is one part and the execution is the other part. So he did great. It was a very interesting first match. I... Uh, yeah, appreciate it a lot, so looking forward to the next rounds, and I hope you all had a great start of your season too.